I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all my subscribers a very happy new year, happy joyful 2022. May we leave the past two years behind and see our future with more optimism and brightness in moving forward. I wish for you everything that you desire, great abundance, health and ha happiness and love for 2022. I'll take this opportunity as well to remind you that my yearly readings for 2022 have been posted. If you would like to have a personalised yearly reading, it's a limited time offer that is available till the end of January 2022. So if you would like to have a personalised yearly reading, make sure you go to my website and book that reading from there. I really appreciate your likes, your comments, your shares, your thumbs up. It helps support my channel, which ultimately helps me bring more of these videos to you. And I look forward to another year 2022 and sharing that journey with you so we will we can all work, walk that journey together supported with care and love for it, one another many blessings to you hello my lovely aries welcome to your january 2022 reading this is a reading for Aries Sun Rising and Moon Sign. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. You can also book a personalised yearly reading. That offer is available to you till the end of January 2022. My lovely Aries, <clears throat> I have been meditating on your energy and what I'm picking up here is what are your wishes? What are your desires? What is what are you wanting? What are you planning? I'm feeling like this this start of the year is about you planning for what you're wanting for the rest of the year. And so it's what are your wishes? What are your desires? What changes do you want to make? What do you want to bring in? What do you want to do? Um, it's about, and it can be on an emotional level. <clears throat> Sorry, my guides are coming through. It can be on an emotional level. It can be on a, a financial level. It can be on a spiritual level. What, what changes are you wanting to make? This is a time of growth for you. This is a time of what they're showing me here is it's, it's a time of um, tilling the soil, fertilizing the soil and planting the seeds. That's where you're at. That's that stage that you're at. Uh, what seeds are you going to plant? What colors do you want in your life? So they give it to me in, in metaphors. So I'll give you those images. Um, it's about planting, being mindful of what you're planting in this soil that you've prepared and fertilized and gotten ready for this new growth, for these new plans, for these new ideas, for this change that you're wanting to bring in. That's the start of the year here for you. Set it up. Set up strong foundations for the rest of the year, my lovely Aries. <clears throat> I'm going to create the Celtic cross for you uh, and we'll see um, in more detail what is going on. You know, to define what you want, <clears throat> what am I getting? To define what you want, you have to know what you don't want. What you've gone through in the past, what you've experienced, the challenges, the upheaval, um, the um, lessons, they have happened in order for you to get become who you are today. What, did, what have you done with those challenges and those lessons? Have you collapsed yourself in a heap and just fallen into it and, and you know, become a victim? Or have you built resistance, uh, resilience, not resistance, have you built resilience um, because of those events? 
It's made you stronger, more determined, having a clearer thought about your path of what you're wanting in your life. Because we're creating our own reality. You create your own reality. We all create our own reality through our thought processes, our expectations and the actions that we take. It doesn't just happen. It's the action that we take. Every action has a reaction. Every action we take has a consequence. It just does. What decisions have you made? What actions have you taken for review? Okay, so what you've got, January, you've got the nine of cups. I love this card. This is the genie card. This is the wish card. What are your desires? What are your goals? What are your wishes? What do you want to create? As I was channeling, I said to you, what, we, what happens in the past helps us determine what we don't want, which helps us know what we do want. It's all a balance, isn't it? Life is all a balance. And so it's about what do you want? What do you want in your future? What do you want in your life? What, do you, what reality do you want to create? Is it a, is it a reality of um, freedom, of working from home, working, having flexible hours, having, having a, living by the ocean, um, pursuing a spiritual journey, um, working at a particular corporation or company? Um, what, what is it that you want to create? What desires do you have? Having a, a loving, caring relationship, a happy family, all of those things up for review. You've also got the Knight of Swords. There's a lot of thinking here. So you, you, you know your, your inner desires are. You know what you want to create. You know what changes you want to bring in. You're working that out in January. And then it's about really thinking about that, thinking about those processes. So how can I achieve those things? Do I need to go back and study more? Do I need to learn new skills? What changes do I need to make to my thinking patterns, to how I think? how I communicate, the words I say, my self-talk, is it positive, is it negative? So there's some sort of um, action you're taking in that investigation, action to bring about what you're wanting to bring about. And you do achieve it. You've got the nine of pentacles. You do achieve it. It does bring you the abundance that you're seeking, abundance in spirituality, abundance in love, abundance in health, abundance in finances, uh, in lifestyle. What is it? For you, it's going to be different for all of you. But what changes are happening here? Because you'll get them. You will get them. They will happen. You've reached a point where you know what it is you want, my lovely Aries. You know what you want and it's time to take that action. It's time to take that action. There's also a lot of in, inner reflection going on with you. Um, a lot of uh, meditation or just going within that, that quiet space. Now, I know you're a fire sign and so it's, you know, you, you action, you want to take action, you want to do things, but it's also about finding that quiet space, not having distractions around you so you can really work out what you're creating here. This is an opportunity to redesign your future, be the architect of your future. What do you want to bring in? What changes do you need to make? What do you need to do to aid that that change to aid that flow let's have a look at what that is so I like that it's this new chapter I want to say a new chapter a new chapter it's it's karmic the two of water, the two of cups, this is soulmate connections, this is destiny, this is karma, this is what is meant to happen here. Uh, it's, it's an exploration and a love for the self. It's also about um, bringing in, you know, if you're, if you're seeking love, if you're seeking your soulmate, this is an opportunity to put that in the mix, to start planning towards that, to start bringing that about. Uh, if you're in a relationship and you want to make a further, you know, let's take it to the next level, let's make a deeper commitment, then that is also there for you as, you know, something you can create, something that you can bring about. 
in starting in January. The cycle begins in January. The cycle begins in January. It's all, it's very, very important. You've got the Seven of Cups here. It's very, this is about also, it's about deception, but it's also about self-deception. Be honest with yourself. What is holding you back? If you're seeking love, seeking that relationship, how are you feeling emotionally? Do you really want that relationship or is there self-deception? This is what I want, but I'm really not ready to, to accept it or I can only go so far and then it just doesn't work. How are you deceiving yourself? What needs to be looked at? What needs to be looked at? What needs to come out? It's also about... Um, someone deceiving you or being betraying you or hurting you there's there's some sort of and I feel like I'm linking this to the past has there been some sort of a betrayal or deception around you that has affected your growth your emotional growth um, I want to say I want to draw the card to find out what that is for you it can be self-deception as well as others not being honest with you it's all a journey it's all a journey you've got here you've got the mountain it's all a journey that we go on i need to read that for you because they're telling me here it's an important there's an important message in there you know so let's let's see what that says my lovely aries let's see you have the capacity to flow around any obstacle this is the time to adapt Sometimes you'll come across what appears to be an insurmountable obstacle, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it or chiseling away at it is the answer, but why take such a treacherous, tedious approach? Be like the rivers that flow around the mountain naturally. You'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose to eat the easy way round. This is the time to adapt to your circumstances. If you do decide to climb, remember to take one step at a time, opting for the right, the next right action. And that speaks of whatever's whatever the deceptions there. What 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 is it that you cannot overcome? What is it that you um, because it's with the card of deception. So who, whoever's betrayed you or deceived you, have you overcome it, or are you still trying to work at it? You still, I've got to get, I've got to get back at it. I've got to, I've got to get some fairness. Let me get that. I've got to get some fairness out of this. I've got to uh, battle it. You know, why are you battling it? Let it go. Flow past it. Flow past it because there's bigger and better things in store for you. So whatever it is that you can't let go of, let go of it because it's only damaging you. Deal with it. Move it on. And you do. And you do. So I don't feel like this is the card that follows it. So I don't feel like it's a big issue. I don't feel like it's a big issue. I don't feel like it's insurmountable. But you've got the world here. And so this gives you a wealth of opportunities. The world is your oyster. There's a wealth of opportunities here for you to uncover the best of everything, the best of what you want to make of your life, of your plans, of your goals. Could be travel in the mix as well. <clears throat> How do you want to expand your life? What expansion do you want to make? This is, this is opportunity, opportunity here. Great optimism here. There's nothing standing in your way. Karmically, this is your, it's the timing here. Karmically, the timing is right here for you. This is the beginning of something here, the, the beginning of a new chapter. This start of the year, and I want to say the first three months of the year are going to be very important for you as to how you formulate it. First three months, which takes you to the end of March, April is your it's your birth month you know the end of March April is is Aries and so you've got these three months to really formulate what it is you want to achieve karmically it's being brought to you and then in April which is the beginning of your birth year or if it's at the end of March it's the beginning of your birth year uh, that's where you start really moving ahead with the foundations you've laid in the first three months of the year. That's really important. It's calm. You're at a karmic turning point. 
This is also a, a connection with a soulmate. So if you're seeking love, if love is one of the wishes you have here, the opportunity is there to, to connect with a soulmate. If you are in a relationship that it, in, and you want to take it to the next level, commit in marriage, commit in living together, commit in having children, whatever it is for you, that opportunity is there. It's riding high on the crest of the wave. Ride that wave. Ride, ride the crest. This is what they're showing me here, the crest of a wave. It must have a significance to someone. Riding the crest of the wave to your future. To you, why be, be tossed about at the bottom when you can ride the crest of the wave to take you to where you want to be? You've also got the emperor. What power? What power? There's nothing stopping you. There's no doubts. There's no. There's determination. There's clarity of thought, clarity of vision, but wisdom with that. You're going to have that inner knowing of this is what the direction I want to take. This is what I want to do. It can be this is the job I want to go for. This is the course I want to study. This is um, how I want to work. This is the house I want to purchase. Um, this is the person I want to marry. This is the person I want to be with. Um, it there's that deep understanding that's coming with you um, with with January it's like a clarity such a clarity you've got the thinker you're really thinking about what it is you want which is you know Aries can be fiery can be just let's take action first and we'll work it out later but you're really thinking about what you want to put in place take the time to think about it Take the time to process what you want to start because this January is laying the foundations for the rest of the year. As you move into February, you find your inner strength. This is you. This is you, male or female, uh, Aries. It's about finding your life's purpose, finding your passion, finding that fire in your belly, uh, you, and you're going to have that and you're going to be moving into February with such determination, such protectiveness of, of what the foundations you've laid in January and how you're going to be moving forward. Just don't mess with me. You're ready to go. You're good to go. So it's you know make take the effort to really work out what it is you're wanting and what direction you're wanting to move in, what you what foundations you're wanting to lay. The Dreamtime reading cards. Let me draw a card from the Dreamtime reading deck. Haven't used this deck in a while. I really love it. Uh, let's see what ancient wisdom is there for you. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. <clears throat> so you've got walkabout, bare feet. Walk about bare feet. I love bare feet. Bare feet is you know grounding. It's connecting with Gaia, connecting with the energy of the earth, connecting with 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 that sacred energy, that sacred wisdom. Let's read read what it says. Here it is. Glasses. Walk about. I love it. Little footprints in the sand. Bare feet. It's the term they used to explain the meditation-like walks they regularly took through their country. These walks were usually done on bare feet and very, were very meaningful and were considered an important part of caring for the land they lived on. When we allow ourselves to feel the energy that vibrates up through the earth, we allow ourselves to connect to the ancient energy of this great land. I consider this to be, in some ways, part of our responsibility. If you do not walk the country that you live on and allow it the opportunity to speak or to or the chat for the chance or the chance for your environment to communicate what it needs, then how are you to know what it is that you that is needed from you? When you draw this card, it's an indication that it's time to get outside and enjoy your natural world. Take your shoes off and maybe you could clear your local area of rubbish and be aware of the impact you have on the environment. Walkabout is associated with meaning, full connections, time spent outdoors and allowing yourself to be conscious of the footprints that you leave behind. Absolutely. So how are you going to be moving forward? 
what thoughts do you have in your forward movement? You know, walkabout is also about movement. It's about moving forward. It's about changing the way you do things. Take from that the meaning that you, you need to take from that. Uh, divine abundance. Let's see what's in that, my lovely Aries. Divine abundance. Uh-huh. It's like walkabout. It's like walkabout. Oh, gosh, let me. Freedom. Freedom. Is that not like walkabout? Walkabout in bare feet. Isn't that freedom? Isn't that freedom? That's fabulous. Synchronicities at work. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Release the past, release the resentments, release whatever is there in you to be able to flow and move forward and create this new chapter. You do need to leave the past behind if you're going to create something completely new with solid foundations. You don't want to be building it on shaky foundations from the past, resentments from the past. Let all of that go in your forward movement. My lovely Aries, I wish you a really happy journey through the next three months. Build that strong foundation, fertilise your soil, get your, your plans, your goals, your dreams and start seeding them, start bringing them into fruition, start making the changes that you seek. If you like this video and would like to give it a thumbs up, I would really appreciate your support. It helps to get my video out there. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to subscribe, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you will know when I'm posting new videos. <clears throat> do you want a private, do you want to book a private reading? Follow the link below. The yearly readings are available to be booked until the end of January as well. So many blessings, happy journeying, bare feet through the, through the land and um, find your joy.